We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. A big-time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Stepping up to the plate, R.D. Hinckley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The shortstop, R.D. Hinkley. No one out now, no one And out. now pitch on the way. Ball. They'll boys these Braves Ball as they one, take no the strike. field here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead, you start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants to. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Now the one and one pitch. One, one, oh, one. right back to him on the ground. And he'll flip oh. on to first to record the out. A time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He comes into this one among the leaders in slugging percentage. How about top five in the National League? I love watching him when he comes up to the plate. There's just a, there's an electricity that about him. Second. He's got power. The He's got that swagger that Jorge. you just can't miss. Jorge Rosa is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Comes into play here at 273. Two home runs and 11 RBIs. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Bounce to first. He's got it. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Digging in, Edgar Velasquez. And he always poses a threat, of course. One of the true superstars in the game today. Two down now. First delivery to him on the way. Ah. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him oh here. 0-1. Oh well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too yeah, much on that outside oh, corner. Yeah, d -Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Three up, three down for Washington. We are still scoreless. Now at the plate, the dude, Gerald. Hey, He'll get to take his Let's first cuts time. here. The dude, Gerald. Has a look, now the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Okada is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Bobby Rogers. Bobby Rogers. Here comes the first pitch. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. All one's the count.
Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Here we go. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Batting. To the plate now, Diego Gonzalez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He'll check in with an average still south of 230. Nine homers and 33 driven in. The wind up and the 0 1. Gonzalez, a native of Germany, he was selected in the first round during the 2026 draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Batting pitch. The right field. In now, Akinori Okada. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Down and away, ball one. one. That's Good the slider there, but laid off and called the ball Two low. Balls, strike, I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Nationals gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jason Horner. Jason Horner. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind 0 and 2, good luck. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting it. The third baseman, Giancarlo Medrano. Plays a one here. Into the box, Giancarlo Medrano At the ball. can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Grounded weakly down the line toward third, but a foul ball, one and one. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Grounded to short. 
And that's the second out. Ready now, Alvin Vasquez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Number 15. Hey, jump ahead. And now pitch on the way. Hey! On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there okay. now. It's 0 and 2. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in, the, the dude, Gerald, who comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard towards center. Get down, ball, get down. And the Make pitcher's the got Find himself a base hit. Hey, don't let the fact that this guy's on the mound fool you right here. This guy has a nice approach at the plate, knows what he's doing, has history. I'm not surprised he was able to mix in a base knock. Striding into the box, Freddie Gerald. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Gerald is off of first with two away. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Atlanta leads it one to nothing. Now in the box, R.D. Hinkley. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hinkley. First pitch on its way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Come on, fellas, let's go. There's a knuckle ball that dances right over the outside corner for a strike. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Stepping in, Jorge Rosas. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Second baseman, Jorge Rosas. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. That's a ball. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Now the one and one pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. That misses ball, ball two so two you'd love for him to strikes. offer at that one but the execution was flawless nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out just a great take by the batter and he struck him out good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game Baseman number 44, Edgar Velasquez. Two 
down here. Stepping in now, Edgar Velasquez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's 0 for go, 1 guys. thus far. Count hey. even at 1 and 1 to the Nationals' first baseman. One ball, one strike. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The one two. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and standing in the outfielder Bobby Rogers. Bobby. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good pitch there. Oh, boy, Had him a count. little out in front. Oh, this guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. No ball, and he's right. way off balance with the swing there. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So digging in now, Diego Gonzalez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Gonzalez. Ground ball sent back up the middle, reined in. On to first and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. So striding in, Akinori Okada. The right field. First pitch coming, Akinori. here it is. Okada. Oh, and one. Come on now, here we go, guys. Nothing in one count, here it comes. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They're down one nothing. Digging in, the dude Gerald. He singled his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Line toward right center. On, dig, and this dig, is going to get go down on, for extra turn, bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. But baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Inside, he misses ball four. Ready for another shot now. Henry now Montes is the looking for hit number three Henry. here in this at-bat. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's the Braves two and the Nationals nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Four, one, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Jason Horner. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. First delivery to him on the way. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Hey, come on now. Come on. 
And he falls behind 0 and 2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. The third baseman, number four, Giancarlo Medrano. Strike one, huh? At the plate, Giancarlo Medrano batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. On could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Ladies Henry Ullman will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Henry Ullman. Come on, fellas, let's go. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. 258, the average to begin play. Eight home runs and 37 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey! Down now, here we go. Now here's a swing and a little bouncer out to the left of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Digging in to try it again. R.D. Hinkley. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Hey, push first, push first. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Standing in, Jorge Rosa. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Jorge Rosa. Get ahead, stay ahead. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped in the ball, air ball, back ball. behind short. Lynx takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Striding in once again, Edgar Velasquez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Gasper will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. Still down, three nothing.
Digging in, now the battle. dude, Gerald, he'll try to follow up the, the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Ooh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Drilled on the ground is short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. And now back to the leadoff spot in the I'm Braves lineup. Time. Stepping in, Freddie Gerald. Freddie Gerald. Advantage oh. count, 2-0 to the Braves center fielder. Hey, right guy, right spot. Clutch up now. Grounded weakly to the left. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. No runs on one base hit. One error in the inning and a man left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Braves on top, three to nothing. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals, Bobby Rogers. Nationals. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Bobby. We're moving right Roger. along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey! Well, he's done a real oh, nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Hey, come on now, guys. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Striding in now for the Nats, Diego Gonzalez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. On its way is pitch number 75. A ball and two strikes now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. The throw is wild, and he gets away. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, I think this will be ruled an error, so the no-hit bid is still alive. If it's not, there might be a riot in that dugout, and rightfully so. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Akinori Okada. Okada. One down, one down. Here comes the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. One and one to count. From the belt, kicks and deals. One and two now. One ball, two strikes again. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Got 
Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. And now for Washington, Jason Horner is hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Montes is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nationals leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. So in now the is the Atlanta pitcher, the, pitcher. the dude Gerald. The dude. He's two for four in the Gerald. ball game. See it, drive it. Let's go right here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hammered the other way to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box now, Giancarlo Medrano. And he's about as dangerous as they come. Without a doubt, he's one of the true icons in the sport today. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he just oh, keeps rolling count? along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out for out number one. So now just two outs away from the no-no. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there. And it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Daryl Linder will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24. Daryl Linder. Get ahead, stay ahead now. Ball. He'll hold off on the slider to start ball the at bat. Outside. It's ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Three homers, 18 driven in. The 1-0. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. So stepping in, R.D. Hinckley. He now is the final man Not standing in the way of possible history here Hinkley. tonight. Hey. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. And this is swung on and missed. Down. So now okay. they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And another foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Last strike now for the Nats. 
Swing and a liner. Go get it out but he's ocean. right there to glove it and let the celebration begin. Well, it's something that every pitcher who's ever picked up a baseball dreams about, and he's done it. A no-hit gem in one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a while. He's in the record books forever now. Well, obviously, after a no-hitter, there's not a whole lot of debate as to the identity of our tops player of the game. Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this was his show. And he winds up in the history books with a no-hitter.